In the final tutorial, we are going to set up bomb zones for the T side. We are going to set up a simple bomb zone for bomb side A and B. This is what you would need most of the time. But then I'm going to show you how to set up a little more advanced way of having dust cloud and environment fire to go off when the bomb detonates. So in this test map, I have the T side on one side and I have the CTs on the other. Uh, so I blocked them off so they won't be able to get through so we can safely test our bomb zones right here. I'm going to have bomb site A on the left and bomb site B on the right. Uh, for your map, you would of course want to set up both of your bomb zones according to the gameplay that you want. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to put them together next to each other. Now for your DE map, you want to have two bomb sites bomb site A and bomb site B. So first let's cover how to create a simple bomb zone. This is what you would do most of the time and you wouldn't need to set up anything extra afterwards. To create bomb zones it's very simple. We need a brush that surrounds an area and that brush is going to be tied to an entity called function bomb target. So let's do that now. Enable the block tool and on the right hand side let's set a current texture to use the trigger texture. So click on browse and filter trigger. This will create the brush with the trigger texture applied to every surface so we don't have to retexture it. So double click to set it and let's go into the top view and we're going to create our bomb site A right here in the corner. So let's draw out a template brush. Let's go into perspective viewport and uh, let's make it a little smaller and in side view we want to make sure that it's touching the floor and it's raised high enough to surround the player inside so 128 units should be good enough so once we are happy with the positioning let's click enter to create the brush and let's enable the selection tool so right now this is a simple brush with a trigger texture and that trigger texture is going to be invisible in game what we need to do now is to tie this brush to an entity to do that, make sure you select the brush, go up to Tools, and Tie to Entity, or press Ctrl T. Object Properties will pop up, and under Class, we want to scroll down and find Function Bomb Target. Select it, and click Apply. So we get to see the property names. Under Name, we want to define which bomb site this is. So left click to select the property name, and then in the input box on the right, type in bomb site space A. Click apply. And at this point this is a functional bomb site in game. So if we would compile right now uh, we would be able to go inside the zone and plant the bomb. But before we do that let's uh, duplicate and move this area and create bomb site B. So I'm going to go in the top view, select it, hold down shift, left click, drag, and duplicate it over on the other corner. Use the selection tool, double click and let's rename it to bomb side B. And click apply. So now we have bomb side A and bomb side B. Now before we test this in game I also want to use overlays to let the player know where they need to go in order to defuse or to plant the bomb. Right now there is no visual identification that is clear to the player where they need to go. So I'm going to use overlays to define those areas. So on the left hand side in the toolbar, enable overlays and let's browse and filter bomb. Here we have A, B, we have arrows to let the player know where they need to go and we also have targets painted that we can use this on the floor. So I'm going to use A to let the player know where the bomb site A is. So I'm going to go and just left click on uh, BSP brushes to set those overlays. Let's go browse again, let's set B, let's go over here and paint it on the walls. And also let's do the target on the floor. One here and right over here. So now let's compile and test it inside the game. Here we are inside the map, we have bomb site A, bomb site B, all the decals are shown. If we walk over here, 
we can see that on the radar we have bomb site A defined and bomb site B also. So let's uh, let's plant the bomb. At this stage, you can call it done. This would be a functional bomb site for your map. In the next tutorial, I am going to show you more advanced way to set up your bomb zones to have a dust cloud and an environment fire to be triggered when the bomb detonates. This adds a little bit more functionality to your existing bomb zone.